Welcome to Catalyst Kids. My name is Sonia and today we're going to continue to look at some of the big questions from J. John's book. That's a good question. Now today's big question is, does God know what I'm thinking? And yes, that is a good question. To help us dive deeper into this, we have a fun session lined up. We're going to look at the story of Nathaniel and Sarah's going to help us with that a bit later. We've got a craft to help get your creative side out, a memory verse to get your tongue around, and we'll be introducing another record-breaking challenge that you can try at home with your family. I'll be back a bit later to talk about our big question again, but first, I'm gonna hand over to Ben as we start off with a time of worship. Thank you, Sonia. Yes, this morning we're gonna kick it off and we're gonna worship, but before we go any further, Let's pray. So, Father, thank you so much that you love us. Thank you that you are with us, you want to be with us, and that you care for each one of us. Father, we just ask that we all get to experience you this morning through the worship, that we can hear you, we can feel you, and we can just enjoy being in your presence. Amen. Amazing. Right, everyone, jump up onto your feet. Did you do it? You did it, of course you did. Now I want you all to wiggle, 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 and then spin right on the spot, jump up as high as you can, and clap as many times as you can in, 30 se in five seconds. Three, two, one, go, one, two, three, four, five. Amazing. We are going to worship now, we're going to sing and shout, and we're going to jump up, dance, and worship God. Oh, hello there. Welcome back to our living room. Our worship song today is Sing and Shout. Your cross, your cross, it draws me to your heart. It makes my spirit sing, it makes my spirit sing. Your grace, your grace, so I hear it call my name. I'm waking up to sing, I'm waking up to sing. We will sing and shout, yeah, sing and shout. Open up my hearts and pour your praises out. We will sing and shout, yeah, sing and shout. Open up my hearts and pour your praise. Sing and shout, 
Open up our hearts and pour your praises out We will sing and shout, yeah Sing and shout Open up our hearts and pour your praises It's so true, God does have amazing plans for us and God knows us so incredibly well and he loves us and it's just so great to be in love with God. Shall we just pray before we jump in to this morning session, hearing the answer to does God know what I'm thinking? So we're going to pray. Father, thank you so much that you love us. Thank you so much that you have a plan for us. Thank you so much that you showed us how much you love us through Jesus your son. Father, I just ask that you come and meet with each one of us this morning as we begin to tackle this big question. And I just pray that you meet with each one of us and that we can just have a great, great time getting to know you just a little bit better this morning. Amen. One day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee and he asked Philip to come and join him. Hey, do you want to come follow me? Philip was really excited. What? What? Me? Yeah? What? Hang on. Give me a sec. Maybe give me two minutes? I'll be back. He went to go find his really good friend Nathaniel to tell him all about it and he spotted him sat under a fig tree. Nay! Guess what? We found the guy that Moses and the prophets talked about. His name's Jesus. And he's from Nazareth, right? Phil, hold up a minute. Nazareth? You're joking. Nothing good comes out of there. You're telling me that the guy the prophets and Moses spoke about comes from Nazareth? Nah, you're having me on. Nathaniel, come on. You've just got to come and meet him. What else are you going to do? Sit under this tree all day eating figs. What? I like them. The two of them set off together to find Jesus. When Jesus saw them a little way off, he said, Now here is a man you can trust. He always knows the right thing to do and he does it. 
Is he talking about me? Yes, Nathaniel, I'm talking about you. But you don't even know me. I've literally never met you. How do you know all about me? I saw you under that fig tree. You were sat under it before Philip called you. But I was by myself. Hold on. You knew all about me before you even met me. You are the son of God. You are the guy Moses and all them prophets spoke about. You are, aren't you? You believe that? Just because I told you I saw you under the fig tree. You're going to see way greater things than that. You're going to see heaven open up and we are going to change the world. Welcome back. So does God know what I'm thinking? Yes, God knows exactly what we're thinking. In Psalm 139, David is talking to God and he realises that God knows him. In verse 2, David says, You know when I sit and when I get up, you know my thoughts before I even think them. And then again in verse 4, David says, Lord, even before I say a word, you already know what I'm going to say. That means God knows my prayers before I even pray them, which is actually quite good because I don't know about you, but there's times when I don't know what to pray or what to say, or maybe we don't even have enough time to pray a big prayer, but God help me is enough because he knows what we're thinking before we even say it. Wow, isn't that amazing? But how? When we look at verse 13 and 14, we realize why God knows us so well. It says, you made my whole being. You formed me in my mother's body. I praise you because you made me in an amazing and wonderful way. That's how. It's because he created us and he made us. Think about it. When Steve Jobs created the iPhone, he knew his creation, what was inside, how it worked and what it could do. He knew his creation very well because he made it. It's the same with God. He knows us because he created us. So back to the question. Does God know my thoughts? Yes, God knows what I'm go what's going on. He knows what's going on on the inside, in our thoughts and in our heart. He knows when I'm frightened, even if I don't show it on the outside. He can tell what people are really like. Some people may act nice on the outside, but have bad thoughts about someone on the inside. God's not so worried about our actions, but more about our thoughts and what's going on in our heart. That's why we need to be careful what we put into our lives, what we watch, what we listen to, the things we read. There's a famous saying in America when I used to live there that says, garbage in, garbage out, which means if you watch and listen and hear bad things and fill your minds and thoughts with these things, then eventually that's the kind of stuff that's gonna spill out. So what do we need to do? We need to be making sure we put good things into our mind. Worship songs, movies with good language, reading encouraging and positive books. It doesn't mean we're not ever going to have bad thoughts. We are only human. So just as we finish, let's close our eyes. Now there's nothing magical about closing our eyes. It just helps us to focus and not be distracted. And let's just take a minute to chat with God. First, thank him for creating you so unique. Maybe God made you a friendly person, someone who can get alongside someone else and make them feel at ease. Or maybe God made you a bold person, somebody that could stand up for others that don't stand up for themselves. However God made you, just thank him for making you so unique. Thank you. Now ask him to show you if there's anything in your life that shouldn't be there. And as you see and hear these things that God's pointing out to you, give them to him and say, God, I choose to give these to you because I want to put good things in my life. I choose to put good things in my life because I want goodness to come out. 
Amen. So sometimes I listen to the radio in the car when I'm driving, but then I heard this voice in my head that says, why would you listen to and sing along to songs about random stuff that don't really mean anything when I can choose to listen to songs about how God is amazing and how much he loves me and I can sing back to him with words of thanks for what he's done for my, in my life. So what things did God talk to you about? What things did you decide to change? It's not always easy, but God will help you and he wants, he wants the best for you because he created you. Amen. Right. Who's up for another record-breaking challenge? So for today's session, our world record attempt is going to involve us using our heads and a whole load of these. We're going for the world record of how many toilet rolls can you balance on your head without them falling off. Why don't you take a look and see which member of the team won today. Right, you ready? Okay, let's do it. One. Two. Three. Oh, Wendy. Today's craft is going to help us to remember the story of Jesus and Nathaniel and also the big question, does God know what I'm thinking? All you're going to need is a piece of paper, any size, some paints and some pens or crayons if you like. We are going to make a beautiful tree together to help us to remember the story and the question. First, we need to draw a tree trunk. Here's one I did earlier. Now we're drawing a tree, of course, to remind us that Jesus saw Nathaniel under the tree and Jesus knew Nathaniel. He knew what he was like, what he was thinking. And in the same way, Jesus knows you. He knows your name. He knows what you're like. He knows what you're thinking. He knows what you worry about, what you think about, what you dream about, what you hope for. Isn't that great? So we start with our tree trunk, then, to make our tree really beautiful, we are going to do some finger painting, partly because it's fun, but also because your fingerprints and thumbprints are unique to you. There's only one of you in the world. And remember, as you make your leaves out of finger paints, that you are unique. There is one of you. No one else is quite like you. And God knows you. He knows what you're thinking. He cares about what you're thinking. He cares about what you're worried about. He wants to help you become more like his son, Jesus. So remember these things as you do your painting. Here's one I did earlier. So this is your tree to help you to remember and maybe for you older ones, you could do some encounter with this later. You could go and find your quiet space and you can think about the thoughts you have. Maybe you could write around the side, the things I think about that make me happy, the things I think about that make me sad, the
the things I think about that I need God's help with may be to change an attitude about a person or a thing. And you can pray to God and you can reflect on this with him. Hope you enjoy your craft today. This week's memory verse is taken from Psalm 139, verse 2. And it says this. You know everything I do. From far away, you understand all my thoughts. Why don't you have a go at learning it this week? I'm going to share something with you now from a book called Jesus Calling. It's written as if Jesus is talking to you. Why don't you close your eyes and listen to what he has to say to you? When you need someone who understands, come to me. I understand you better than you understand yourself. No part of your life is hidden from me. When I see you, even your mistakes, I see you through the eyes of my grace. This means that I love you no matter what. When no one else seems to understand, come to me. Enjoy being with me, the one who understands you completely and loves you perfectly. I will never leave you, no matter what. Guys, we have a God who loves us completely and understands us completely. Don't ever forget that. We hope you've enjoyed spending time with us today. Have a great week and we'll see you soon. Bye for now. This is the day of favor. Good news is in.